Hi, today's lesson is on the chords and the rhythm guitar part from Down to the Waterline by Dire Straits. I've made other lesson videos looking at the lead for this song, so please check those out. Right, as usual, what I'm going to do is just go through each section of the song and and look at what, what's happening as far as the rhythm and the, the chords go. Um, this is all bar chords for this song, so you have to be able to play bar chords. Um, so for the intro, we just need a G and a B minor. And what I'm doing today is, is looking at the exact bar chord positions that I think are being used on the original song. Um, if you disagree with any of them, please put in the comments. It'd be interesting to, to hear what you think. Um, but the, these are where I think the chords were originally played. So the G bar chord, third fret, or third position, E shape bar chord. I'm not going to go through on this lesson the exact uh, positioning of the fingers for all the chords because I think there'll, look, there'll probably be chords that you already know. If you don't, then let me know in the comments and I can I can look at uh, look at doing a follow up video. So it's G bar chord there, B minor bar chord second position. So that's a fifth string A minor shape, and they're the only two chords we need for the intro. And what I'm looking at here is is not the very very beginning of the intro it's the bit where the drums and the bass and the rhythm guitar come in properly so it's where the kind of rhythm of the song starts um, so in terms of the actual strum pattern what we need to do for a lot of this song is a strum that I call strum number one which is down down up up down up so it's, in terms of beats it's one two and and four and so you're missing out beat three, which makes it a little bit tricky, but it's also the most common strum you're ever gonna use. It's in so many songs, that's why I call it strum number one. So it looks like this. One, two, and, and four, and. You're probably already familiar with that. It's just in so many songs. So that's the strum we need to use. You could use a pick, I'm using my fingers, um, but yeah, I'm sort of strumming down with the backs of my fingers and up with the thumbnail, but you could you could use a pick, do it however you like. So that's the main strum we're going to use. So we need to do two bars of G, two bars of B minor, two bars of G, two bars of B minor. Another thing to quickly mention is when you do this strum pattern, what works well in this song is for the second downstroke, do a slightly muted strum. So your left hand just relaxes. So in slow motion, that's kind of... So it's just that second downstroke, I'm just relaxing these fingers a little bit. So you get that kind of groove. Okay, I'll demonstrate the whole intro for you. Right, the verses in this song, they're all the same. So if I look at verse one, other verses later in the song will be exactly the same. Now what we need to do here is play an a, a B minor again, but not that one. Now this is where it's a little bit interesting, I think, because it just sounds to me like they're not here anymore. It sounds like they're at this one. So this is the seventh fret E minor shape, bar chord for a B minor. Uh, we'll look at the rhythm in a second. So. B minor, F sharp minor, the one we want is the ninth position one, so an A minor shape, fifth string bar chord, F sharp minor, A, fifth position, D, and instead of playing the full bar chord here like this, if you want to do the one you've probably played before where you flatten this finger down, if you could use little finger. So I've got this one on just the fifth string and then this finger covering those four, but I'm not playing the first string here so it's just, it's just instead of doing that. Uh, because I can't hear the first string on this chord, on the song. And also what we're going to do with this chord is easier when you're playing that rather than that. So we do the D and it slides to an E, which is the same shape at seventh position. And then we go back to B minor again. So that was B minor, F sharp minor, A, D, E, B minor. And in terms of the rhythm, it's a very specific thing you need to do. 
It's a down strum on the B minor, two ups on the F sharp minor, two ups on the A, one up on the D, and slide to the E. So that's very specific. Because of all those upstrokes, it's very syncopated, it's, it's kind of really offbeat. And after that, the two bars on B minor at the end are just strummed with that rhythm we did for the intro, like this. So that's the verse, so I'll just demonstrate that, and you play it all twice, so I'll play the whole thing twice. Okay, the chorus, we're on B minor at the end of the verse, you stay on the B minor and strum another bar. F sharp minor, where we played it before, a whole bar strummed. And then the A chord, three down strokes. And a D chord, one down stroke, but slide to the E like we did before. The difference is, in the verse, the slide was after playing an up stroke, but this time we're doing a down stroke. So that was. B minor strum for a bar, F sharp minor strum for a bar, three downs on an A, one down on a D and slide to the E, and then strum the B minor for two bars. I'll just demonstrate that chorus. Now there's several guitar solos in this song, as with a lot of, of Dire Straits things, especially the early Dire Straits songs, there's, there's quite a few guitar solos in, in many of their songs. This one, um, there's three solos. The first solo, what we've got to do is go to the G chord, third position, strum for two bars, B minor, second position, where we played it in the intro, for two bars, G again for one bar. This is all with that same strum we were doing. A for a bar, B minor for two bars. And that's the solo, so I'll just demonstrate that. Right, the second solo, very similar to the first solo. The difference is you don't have the two bars of B minor on the end because it goes straight into the middle eight. So I'll just demonstrate the, uh, the second solo for you, it's quite easy. Then we come to the middle eight. Now the middle eight is a really interesting chord sequence I think it's a really clever progression so we start off with one bar on an E chord which is the E shape we used earlier Just remember where we did the slide from the D so it's one bar on that E chord same strum we've been doing down down up up down up one bar of C sharp minor which is a new chord it's fourth position A minor shape two bars of C which is the same shape we used for the D and the E earlier but the third position Two bars of G, where we played it before. Back to the C, but this time it's a C7, not a C major, so it's that. That's two bars. Two bars of D, two bars of A, and then we go to an F sharp. Now earlier we had an F sharp minor up here. This time it's major, and also it's not up there, it's down here at second position, so it's the E major shape. That's second fret. And then we've got one bar of A, sorry, one bar of G, and one bar of A. Quite a long sequence. So it's E, C sharp minor, C, G, C7, D, A, F sharp, G, A. Uh, the first two chords are one bar, and the last two chords are one bar, but all the others in the middle are two bars. Best way to get this is for me to just demonstrate it. 
I'll play it um, sort of quite a lot slower than the song to begin with. Then we come to a third solo, and the third solo is kind of like the, the outro as well, I suppose. There's sort of lead guitar going on, but it's, it's the, the ending to the song. So we've got to play two bars of G, just where we've been playing G. Same strum, two bars. Two bars of B minor at the second position, so the A minor shape. One bar of G, one bar of A, up to this B minor for two bars. So that's a bit unusual, because we were playing that one. One bar of G, one bar of A, and then a single strum, just a down on the B minor of it at the end. Okay, I'll just demonstrate that. That's the whole song. So if you can play bar chords and you can do that strum pattern, then it, it's not too difficult at all. Any questions, please put them in the comments. Uh, please click like if you liked it. Please subscribe unless you've already done so and suggest other Dire Straits songs or other songs by other people you wanna see lessons on. Okay, thanks.